Virginia Wright was a well-known and beloved San Jose teacher. Her family says she mentored and inspired students for more than 35 years. She taught in the same school district where not just she went to school, but it was all of all of us, all her siblings. Her sister Josie Sanchez says Wright's teaching inspired both students and other teachers for decades, even after her official retirement. She was still subbing. That was her passion, just to be around the kids. Tragically, Wright died last year in a car accident. Her family, still coping with their loss, wanted to find a way for her legacy to continue. Over the years, Wright started collecting Jordans. That collection ended up leading to connection. She just loved that idea of there was a connection and kids would question the shoes and, hey, Mrs. Wright, what shoes are you wearing today? And you know, she just loved that. The difference she was able to make through her tireless work and shoe collection caught the attention of major shoe retailer Shoe Palace. That's how we first met her in 2019, the day she got Air Jordan 1s made in her honor at an assembly at Santee Elementary in San Jose, a day she was blown away by. I like that I was a teacher. I like that I was giving back to the community. And they chose, instead of going for an athlete or a celebrity, they chose to go with a teacher. Sanchez had more than 200 pairs of her sister's shoes. Together, she and Shoe Palace are now working to auction off those sneakers for a San Jose State scholarship, writes alma mater. I just feel in my heart it was the right thing to do with um, her collection. Shoe Palace helped facilitate the restoration of the shoes and auction. The goal is to raise $50,000. So far, it's raised $20,000, but there are more than 60 pairs of shoes left to auction. She's still helping kids, and she's helping kids succeed. I know that's um, what she would be really proud of. To find out more on how to bid on the shoes, head to CharityBuzz.com and search SPGINA. A cash donation site is also set up on San Jose State's website. In San Jose, Zach Fuentes, ABC7 News.